Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. In this video, we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of a simply supported beam with trapezoidal loading. So, this is our trapezoidal loading with intensity 5 kN per meter at point A and 15 kN per meter at point B. And the length of the beam is 6 meter. Now, for simplicity, we can divide this trapezoid into two parts. One is this rectangle part and another is this triangle part. So it becomes an UDL of intensity 5 kN per meter plus a uniformly varying load of intensity 0 at one end and at this end 10 kN per meter. Let us find out RA and RB. So RA plus RB will be equal to the total load here, the area of this rectangle which is 5 into 6 plus area of this triangle half into base into height. So equal to 30 plus 30 equal to 60. Let us take moment about point B. Summation of moment about point B equals to 0. So RE into the distance is 6 will be equal to the area of this rectangle which is 30 into the distance of the CG from B which is at the midpoint. So it will be 6 by 2 plus area of this triangle 30 and the CG distance, CG will be here 6 by 3. This distance is CG distance 6 by 3. So you got 150. So RE becomes 25. So RB equal to, equal to 35. So we got RE and RB. Now let us find out the shear force equation. For this, take a section at a distance of x. From the left hand side so first find out this distance this is 10 this distance is 6 from the similar triangle rule it will be 10 by 6 into this distance which is x now s f x will be equal to r a minus force of this area so r a is upward so 25 positive minus area of this rectangular part which is 5 into x minus area of this triangular part half into base is x and height is 10 by 6 x so you got so this is the shear force equation and it varies with x square so it will be parabolic put the value of x equal to 0 which will be equal to 25 which is nothing but r a at x equal to 6 equal to rb but in negative sign now let us find out the position where the shear force is equal to 0 for that you have to equate this shear force equation to 0 25 minus 5 x minus 5 by 6 x squared equals to 0 divide this by 5 so 5 minus x minus x squared by 6 equal to 0 so x square plus 6 x plus 30 equals to 0 this is a quadratic equation you have to solve this to get the value of x so x will be equal to minus b which is minus 6 plus minus b square sorry this is minus 30 b square is 36 minus 4 ac 4 into a is 1 c is minus 30 by 2a 2 into 1 3.245 so at x equal to 3.245 which is just right side of this midpoint the shear force is equal to 0 now let us find out the bending moment equation bending moment at any distance of x which will be equal to r a into x minus moment for this area 5 into x and the cg distance is x by 2 minus area of this triangle half into x into the height is 10 by 6 x and the cg distance will be x by 3 so the bending moment equation is so at x equal to 0 you got bending moment equal to 0 and x equal to 6 you will also get bending moment equal to 0 put the value of 6 and find it out now to get the maximum bending moment bm max which will be at x equal to this distance 
you got 45.31. So let us draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. The shear force diagram is a parabolic diagram. So at point A it will be 25 unit and at point B it will be 30, negative 35. And this is the midpoint and at a distance of 3.245 somewhere like here it will be 0. Now the bending moment diagram it will be a cubic curve here is maximum and at this two point it is zero positive and this ordinate is 45.31 that's all hope you like this video give thumbs up share with friends see you in the next video